What's up guys, it's Dullmatter here, and today we've got probably the funniest title I've ever read on a, uh, a suggestion. So this is from 8 News Now Las Vegas, which I believe is just a local Las Vegas news station. And it is, 9 year old child hands Henderson police bag of drugs. Mom arrested. So, <laughs> that is, that is hilarious. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. A child finds drugs at home and turns them into police. The person taken into custody, his own mother. Really, it's heartbreaking moments right there that unfolded, all caught on video. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy has this story you'll only see here. A child hands a police officer a bag of drugs. Well, thank you. So, we're wait, did he call the police on his mom? Because he's got his backpack on. He's got the bag of drugs. Like, I thought he just, like, brought them to school or something. But, it's, like, did he call the police on his mother? That was wild. Call to come check on your son. A second police officer tries to comfort him. What's up, little man? What's what's going on? Hey, I'm Officer Hanson. What's, you scared? What's going on, man? What's going on? Do you want to take a do you want to take a seat on the bench? She's on my phone in the bathroom for like an hour. This is the boy's mother, Kendra Long. I have, I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> well, you just handed it to me. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. So this is your child? This is my baby. Yes, yeah, she's in the Man, what if what if he set her up? <laughs> he bought it at school, brought it brought it home. She's like, "Fuck you, mom. Won't let me play Fortnite." <laughs> Okay. Literally an hour. The child had FaceTimed his father while locked in the bathroom. The parents are divorced. The dad called oh. police. He was showing Tony. Oh, okay. So it was the dad. Okay. Tony, this stuff that he found in the house. I don't even know what that is. Well, I don't either. The other officer then talks to the nine-year-old boy who's in tears. And what did you, what did you find inside the house that, that, that made you scared? Drugs. Okay. Do you know what drugs look like? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Let's take some, some deep breaths. He says he found the drugs under his mother's nightstand. I just saw a couple bags of those curious. Mm -hmm. Pour it out and then I feel like I knew what it was. Yeah, from like TV and stuff. What? Like you thought like maybe it was drugs from like. I think it's really articulate for being nine years old. And also, yeah. TV yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Officers examined the drugs. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of meth. Wow. Yes. It's not just like a little baggie, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's it's like one of my top five, you know, in my 20-year career of, of meth hauls. <laughs> I love how he's like trying not to laugh as he says that. <laughs> yeah, for 21 years, it's the first time that a kid's walked out with 12 pounds of Meth yeah. in a baggie. And God damn, that's a lot of meth. That is meth, and yeah, that's that's quite a bit of meth. It's not just you know recreational or personal use. That's it's like enough for you know a couple hundred people to party on a weekend. Over. Man, I the thing is like I don't know. I, I I've never done meth, so I don't know if that's true. But I know like in Canada, well, it's legal now. But they used to get you with like attempt to distribute or whatever it was. If you had, like, I think it was over an ounce, which I know a lot of people that would buy that much just because it was cheaper to buy in bulk, and then it would last them, like, three months, four months, you know, whatever, right, depending on how much they smoked. So, although I guess, you know, people that are on meth aren't exactly known for, you know, their, uh, I don't know what you would call that, like, you know, thinking ahead and planning ahead, right? I mean, you're doing jib, uh but yeah, I always wonder when they say, like, oh, yeah, they had, like, enough to distribute. It's like, was that the goal, or were they just, like, buying a bunch because it's cheaper in bulk? <laughs> Turns out this was more than 100 grams of meth, according to police. But you do have the right to remain silent. Me? Uh-huh. If you give up that right, you can say it. Oh, right, so it was nowhere near 12 pounds then. Can you say can will be used against you in a court of law? Um, it's in your house. Um, this is your house. It's, this is not my, I don't even know this was here. I don't even, this, I can't even understand the problem the fact that this is drugs in my house. Long right. is arrested for drug trafficking and child abuse. Does Cus feel okay? This was in July of 2022. Long posted a $25,000 bond that same day. 
violated a family court order and broke numerous other rules court records show still she received no hard prison man that yeah that is not a favorable picture if you want to not look like a meth head in time and was given probation which prosecutors say she violated she was also sent to an inpatient drug treatment program in her criminal case prosecutors pointed to these text take your time blank didn't go to his party so we're here please bring the cash after re-up getting my second to last ball oh, okay so Okay, so she's buying for herself. Messages showing she clearly was dealing drugs. You want a hundred dollar bag or half? Oh, she's doing both. Taking place with. Oh, okay. She's talking about her last eight to sell. Okay, okay. Her son home. So it appears this was all an act. I mean, to me, it looks probably like methamphetamine. You know. Uh, I don't get the rehab then, because like she doesn't really look like a meth head, right? She kind of does when she's in prison, like with her mugshot, but mugshots rarely ever look good, right? N hardly anyone's ever very photogenic in a mugshot. So I wonder, was this a, you know, was the rehab even a, like, was there even a point? Was she taking it? Because she looks like, a, like way too put together compared to like anyone else that I've known that's done it, right? Like I, I grew up with people who ended up getting on jib, and when they were on their benders, they were nothing like this. Although I guess to be fair, right? It, you know, I also knew people. I knew this one guy that I used to work with, and he would li we did, we did a construction gig, and it was like April to October or whatever it was, depending on like when the snow melted and when it started to snow again. Uh, we were seasonal work, and he would save up. He would live with his parents. This guy was like he would have been like maybe in his late twenties, early thirties at the time. He would live with his parents because they wouldn't charge him rent. And he would just save up his money the entire time and was like one of them, like for that eight, nine months, whatever it was, super put together. And then, you know, we got we got off work and he would just go on a bender for like four or five months or however long we had off that year. Um, that, you know what meth is. Like being or whatever. Like, I mean, I've no, she, she she caught herself right there. She caught herself right there. He knows what meth is. He watched Breaking Bad. I mean, Jesus. I have never seen Breaking Bad. Well, you should. While yeah, you his should. mother is lying, the child is recognized for his honesty. Good job, buddy. Proud of you. You did the right thing. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. The 8 News Now investigators reached out to Long's lawyer to try and get her side of the story. During a phone call, instead of providing a statement, he hung up. The attorney did what you may be wondering what happened with the child, her son. His dad picked him up that night, and he is currently living with his father. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. Man, honestly, like the w the way it started off, it honestly kind of seemed like the kid set the mom up until you know, until they said that the kid was in his bath, like locked in the bathroom, crying, and called his dad. Um, <laughs> which honestly would have been uh, that would have been absolutely hilarious because you imagine you know you don't let your kid play Xbox and they fucking call the police on you. There was actually a case, not exactly like that, but somewhat similar to that where the kid tried to call, like, the child abuse hotline, and they had to explain the, to the kid that being, like, disciplined... Uh, I can't remember what it was. Like, the kid didn't do his homework, so he wasn't allowed to play PlayStation or Xbox or something. And then he tried calling the child abuse hotline, and the police showed up, right, because it's a child abuse thing. And they, the police are, like, trying to explain to this kid that, like, you know, being punished for not doing your homework is not child abuse. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.